It's not just a motor ESC combo. It's a two in one, baby. Two in one. Hey guys, what is going on today? Hope you guys are all having a great day. Damien with DJRC here. And as you can see on the bench today, my Axial SCX 10 III. <laughs> One of my previous videos that I did a quick little nice, relaxing morning crawl. Unfortunately, the motor blew in this, and that's the second brush motor that I've gone through. But to be fair, both of them were already questionable. So we're gonna be getting rid of that and just going brushless. I haven't really talked too much about this car, I know. But this is my Axial SCX 10.3. I got it secondhand from a buddy of mine for a really good price, so I could not say no. And it is slightly modified. There's a custom cu couple custom things done. Um, not a whole heck of a lot. If you guys can see inside, there's like a beer can. And that's actually really about the only custom thing in there, but it's still funny. The metal bumpers with the trailer hitch, which I want to get a trailer for this so bad. Front metal bumper as well with the wench, which does work. Um, I'll hopefully get to use that on my next crawl with you guys. Underneath the body is nothing special. It's just a couple lights for the front and back. Um, so right now it's using the same stock two in one ESC and receiver. And right now I'm running the old motor from my Element RC, but I guess it wasn't too good when I pulled it out of the Element RC because uh, it didn't last too long, which I'm kind of confused why because it was running just fine when I had it in the other car. But it is what it is. It gives me a reason to upgrade this and kind of give it my own touch. So we're going to be installing this. Hopefully this should give us a little bit better performance and fix our issue of not having a good motor. <laughs> So this is the Spectrum Firma two-in-one motor and ESC combo. Um, it's fully two-in-one. So it's a motor and ESC. This isn't anything new. These have been around for a little bit now. So this is the 2300 KV. Uh, they also offered it in a 1400 KV. I decided to get to 23 just because I want a little bit more pep in the step. This will be a great option. I'm hopefully gonna enjoy it. So we'll see how it performs after we get it installed. So now, with this being a two-in-one ESC and motor, and the SCX10 having the built or the two-in-one ESC and receiver, I won't be able to use this transmitter anymore because it's built and binded to that ESC receiver convert. <laughs> receiver convert. It's binded to the ESC and receiver combo. So fortunately this will also have to go kaput. Not actually, I'll use this for something else. Now I'm gonna have extra parts. Honestly, after getting it, it's the exact same thing as the Dumbo RC, which is the other receiver I was going to get, but it was like 10 bucks cheaper and I found it able to get shipped like in a day. So I was like, sweet. Uh, it's the Endura 2.4 gigahertz radio system. This is a six channel transmitter and receiver um so that's gonna be super sick for having my like micro servos having lights stuff like that but after opening it and looking at it when i first got it it's literally the exact same thing as the tumbo rc as i'm sure most of you know what those look like because they're kind of all over the internet and they're very popular as i was gonna get one so with this in this installed i should have a pretty decent system so here we have the transmitter and it also comes with this little, I'm assuming this goes, this will clip like behind. Oh, am I right? First try. And it kind of helps you be able to steer one handed. Anyways, nice controller. Put that aside because we don't need that now. This is the receiver, six channels for six amount of fun. <laughs> Let's get this stuff aside and we'll get this motor open. Motor and ESC, sorry. <laughs> it's not just a motor ESC combo, it's a two in one, baby. Two in one. This is our motor ESC combo. Super pretty orange. Look at that. Motor ESC out. I'm gonna take the motor plate off and mount it to the new motor, obviously. Uh, but I'm gonna throw you guys on a time lapse. Get to building this. As you can see, I'm not building at the, the bench. Jess is 
wheeling some Legos across from me and spending some time together. <laughs> So I got the motor installed, well, motor and ESC installed. I'm just wiring up everything and getting where I wanted to get it placed. So, making steps. And just as me, a Venus flytrap. <laughs> so, got everything mounted up. Motor's in there, button is all mounted. Tested it a little bit. I had to get rid of my dig function because I just didn't, couldn't figure out a way to quickly adjust it and I don't have the program card to do that if I can, I'm not 100%. So I took it out for the time being, so I just have it locked in four wheel drive. It all seems to work good. Uh, I just need to clean up some of these batteries, tidying them up so it doesn't look like a rat's nest. So we're back out, down at the beach, to the rocks that nearly took us completely out. I'm gonna test out this new motor ESC combo. Just walking it over here, it seems pretty smooth. It's pretty fun to see the FOC in action. So like I said, it has that FOC, uh, which is field oriented control. Um, I don't know exactly all the specs. I watched quite a few videos, but look how slow this can go. I'm barely touching it. But we can go nice, nice and slow. So as I come up to this rock, I'm not gonna give it any kind of extra throttle. I'm just gonna give it just a little bit. I might steer a little to help. But I'm gonna go nice and slow. Not gonna give any more throttle than that. It should hypothetically go, keep going, in same exact speed. No extra throttle needed. Nice and smooth, super nice, super cool. I haven't experienced the downhill, which is where I heard that it kind of does get kind of weird, but we'll get to that soon. Look at that, nice and smooth. I'm running this on a 2S LiPo. I have another one fully charged in my pocket in case we need it. I did take the spare tire off the back um, just to take away that weight down low. or in the back more so, not really down low. I need that down low weight. And as you know, I did get rid of that dig feature. Oh, look at that, look at that. That was awesome. Oh, okay, we're in the little valley here. My body's kind of not helping us. Okay, it's just the body. That's all that matters. We gotta get through it. Oh wow, pinching it up. There we go. I am doing this all one-handed. So if it's not great driving, there I'm just gonna blame it on that. Oh look, perfect. Nice and smooth. Like I'm barely touching throttle, guys. It's continuing that same momentum. Nice, nice and smooth. So the tire flexing in. Which way should we go? Let's go back up to the top. We'll head to the other section there.
we're gonna almost all burn down. Not actually, but possibly. We're gonna do the same line up to where it caught smoke. And then we're gonna do a little bit more crawling up there, down on the beach, stuff like that. So let's get into it. I was gonna do some cool shots by the water, but I really don't want to get the tires soaked with water, so. Oh, as I almost run into the water. Let's go. 